will enjoy it while it lasts. Any parent or teacher can tell you adjusting to remote learning has been really challenging during the pandemic. At times, children can lose their opportunity for a fair chance at learning. Paula Dutman has found several people around Metro Detroit going above and beyond to keep their students connected and learning. I think it's a pretty good assumption that there are a lot of people who are concerned about students getting lost this remote learning year. <laughs> We've seen it at protests in Macomb County. One time, one of my friends got couldn't get in. Their Wi-Fi was broken, and they had to come all the way to my house. For a family in Oakland County, one child has a laptop for learning. The other child does not. I feel sad because I don't get to learn anything else. I also feel bad that he's not in class right now, and I'm in class. And in Wayne County, thousands of students still struggle just to get connected. But what we're also seeing is a yeoman's effort on the part of some districts and teachers to be human bridges to that disconnect. In every corner of the Tri-County area, we see teachers like these in the Southfield Public School System pulling together educational care packets that will be hand-delivered to the students who still can't get connected for a variety of reasons. And in the Wayne Westland District, we met a fifth grade teacher who's going above and beyond to simply keep her students any way she can. I had two kids that their mics didn't work the first time. They could hear me, but their mic couldn't work. Not only is she remote teaching, but she's putting together lesson plans to teach with no students present. I see them on the screen, but I have them on mute so that I'm not getting that feedback that I get from them. Like I read a book that is funny and they're not laughing, you know, because they're on mute. So it's just that connection that is it's sad. It's very hard. She's working with her tech staff to get more students connected. You can see my whiteboard and then your whiteboard. Okay. So now if you click on my whiteboard. Oh. She is troubleshooting students who come to her with tech issues and she's field dressing broken laptops. I fixed their mic issue and then I dropped it off at the end of the day. She keeps four computers and her phone going at all times during the day and then she goes home to her own children and then she teaches them. Where do you have to find the reasoning from? Uh, the reasoning fits the sentence. And then she's on the phone in the evenings, trying to connect with students and their parents. It is grueling and emotional. Your mind is constantly going. Not only are you figuring out how to change things virtually for all the kids, but you are trying to still make your connections with them. But she, like so many other teachers, is determined to not lose a single solitary student in this fractured abyss of learning. Paula Tutman, Local 4. So in awe of all of those teachers working so hard. All right, thank you, Paula. We appreciate it. Still ahead here, first at four. Will the biggest online shopping day of the year?